What's up, YouTube? It's Jessie Lee. Call me hashtag Boss Lee, and I hope you love the video you're about to see. I'm pretty sure you will, because it's always content over here. I want to tell you about a couple other things, specifically one that you can also get some more value from, and all you need to do, and you can do it now, just pause this video, is go ahead and text YouTube to 844-277-9762. I'm going to be really upping the text game, and it's literally me texting you back. So if you want to have a more one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, enjoy the video, subscribe, comment below, and make sure you text YouTube again to 844-277-9762. Hello, hello everybody, what's up? It's Jesse Lee and this is Car Talk, y'all. Woo! Quarantine got me feeling crazy. Actually, I think it was that spoiled water I just drank. It just went straight to my head, I'm poisoned. Uh, no, so I feel like too many people are out there trying to keep up with people. They see the Range Rover, they see the Rolex, they see the fancy stuff people have, the lifestyle, the house, the car, the the clothes, the shoes, the whatever. And I will just tell you that it is not your job to keep up with other people. It is your job to do you. And too many people, especially in this network marketing space, if you're a network marketer, comment below, I'm just curious. You can say, I'm an MLM, cool. You do not need to keep up with the people who are flashing their money and their stuff. For all you know, they're trust fund babies. For all you know, they're going broke trying to impress you. Uh, you know, I don't. I didn't have my first designer handbag. I got my first Louis Vuitton that I actually earned. I didn't pay for it. Uh, that was when I was already making ninety thousand dollars a month, and my upline bought it for me. And I want. I want to say that because I think too many people see fancy stuff and they think they have to have it. And so I just want you to focus on what makes you happy. You know, if, if a designer bag doesn't make you happy, then don't get it, right? I really wanted this freaking Louis Vuitton bag. It's really nice, it's still my favorite bag. But some people say, oh, so-and-so has those shoes, so-and-so has those sunglasses, so-and-so has that car, so-and-so goes on those trips, so-and-so lives in that neighborhood. Like, who cares, who cares? Uh, you know, if you naturally elevate your personality, elevate your mind, elevate uh, your own paycheck because you're elevating your business, the rest will come, the rest will come. But if you're spending all your time paying attention to what everybody else is doing, you're gonna have a very hard time being happy. You're gonna have a very hard time finding peace in your life. You're gonna have a very hard time appreciating all of the things that are blessings that are in your life. You're not even gonna be able to pay attention to them. You're gonna forget the fact that three years ago you were living paycheck to paycheck and were an alcoholic and now you're making five grand a month. It's like, it's the people who forget where they came from that I find being the most emotionally unstable. And I have to remind those people when I coach them all the time, I'm like, what was your life like three years ago? Oh, right, it sucked two years ago, one year ago. So what if you're not making 50 grand a month yet? If your life is happier, one thing I love that Gary Vee always says is he's like, even if you're making 40 grand a year, but you're happy, you're better than the billionaires that are depressed and hate their life. But you have to understand that you are only gonna be happy if you're doing the things that actually make you happy. And so I don't focus on making any of you happy. I don't. I mean, I'm focused on making myself and my family happy. And what makes me happy should look very different than what makes you happy. And I will also argue that it's never gonna be material possessions that are, that are gonna bring you that happiness. Material possessions, when you buy them for other people on the other hand, I promise you that'll make you happy. So maybe you hustle your face off so you can buy your mom something or your dad something or your, your husband something or your wife something or your partner something, you know, whatever you need to do. Cause I, I will tell you, I do love buying some nice stuff for some friends and watching them react. But uh, aside from that, I'm not trying to keep up with anybody. And I think that if you try to keep up with people, you're gonna be nothing but upset. So with that said, I hope this car talk was useful and I want you to write down a list of things that make you happy and I want you to chase after that. I want you to stop trying to chase after everything else and I want you to chase after that. I love y'all.